Hello everybody, nice to be with you. I think I was on live before I was on live. <laughs> I haven't done this in a while, hello. I am using a new deck of cards, I just got this today. It is the Golden Wheel Tarot. So if you have any questions, these cards are beautiful. Let me just show you some of them. I've got that, I've got that. Aren't they pretty? I think they're really pretty. If you have any questions, just ask me. I'm here to answer any questions you've got. I will pull a card. So, hello. Hi, Nav. Okay, Yvonne, let me pull a card for you. This is for Yvonne Lagunes. Hi, Yvonne, how are you doing? Let me pull a card for you. All right. Yvonne, for you, I've got the King of Wands. So the King of Wands is telling you to, one, assert yourself, to stop people-pleasing, to stop doing what other people want you to do, and to be positive when it comes to love and romance. You're not done, okay? Good things are coming your way. Keep that in mind, and don't believe all the naysayers. Don't listen to all the negative stuff. Hi, Catherine. Are you close to financial abundance? Let's have a look. Catherine, this is for you. Let's see, I'm gonna pull a card for you, Catherine. Hope you're doing well. Are you close to financial abundance? I've got the Three of Swords. So the Three of Swords says, not with the track you're on, unfortunately. You need to change something. You've had two ideas which work really, really well, which you've dismissed. I'd like you to revisit those because there's financial abundance inherent in those two ideas that you've pushed aside. So make sure you're not too Blink it, when it comes to your future, you have other options which really contain a lot more abundance than what you've kind of, you've, you've, um, you've blinkered yourself into believing that there's one way forward and there are two other options which, yeah, you've put behind you and they shouldn't be. Um, Vaidehi, I'm sorry if I'm saying your name incorrectly. A message for you, Vaidehi. I've got the six of wheels, the six of pentacles. So opportunities are coming your way financially. And these are temporary opportunities that aren't going to be there all the time. So this is financial options, work, finance, physical life, um, your living situation, anything like that. There are opportunities for you to make things better. And you should take advantage of those opportunities now. Okay. Okay, DZ. Hi, DZ. Should you reach out? Thank you for the super chat. Should you reach out? Okay, that's the question, DZ. Should you reach out? I've got the emperor. No, you shouldn't. You should stay put and wait for the other person to reach out. You've done enough chasing. Don't chase. Be secure in what you've got. You don't need to change yourself for anyone, okay? And you've done so much work to get this situation going. Not anymore, okay? Don't reach out. You've done your bit. You can only do so much. It's got to be an even-keeled relationship. And if you're just giving, 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 there's no point. Card for Van. That's for Inez. Hey, Inez. Card for Van. Du, du, du. Card for Van. Five of Cups. You can see the Five of Cups is someone who's mourning. And the card for Van says that his perspective is somewhat depressed and down, and you can't change that for anyone. They can only change it for themselves. So I would support Van in whatever he or she's doing, and um, I would keep the faith and I would stay positive, but don't try and save Van and don't try and rescue them. It's something that Van has to do by themselves, okay? You can't, like I said, you can't change anyone's perspective for them, unfortunately. Carmen. Hi, Carmen, Renee, from San Diego. Card for you. Wow, we've got the Eight of Wheels. That's the Eight of Pentacles. Keep working. You're the expert. You can do it, okay? You're on the right track. Keep on trucking. Keep on doing what you're doing. Okay, Samantha, will my business pick up? Please and thank you. Oh, you're so polite, Samantha. I don't need to pull a card. You will do well with, your, with that politeness. That's really good. But the cards say the devil, okay? So you're giving too much importance to the things that 
you need for a business like the premises and the bills you have to pay and the customers and the money and the marketing you don't need to worry about other people worry about the business the product the content of your business people will discover it and people will like it okay if people if you do something that is valuable and people adore what you do you don't need to be some sort of marketing business genius you just need to do something that you care about that's authentic and that you share with the world and you are doing that so don't sweat the details, don't sweat the small stuff. It's not that serious. That's what the cards are saying. And the cards are saying, if you do that, you will be successful, okay? How can I bring my documentary series to reality? That's for Becky. Okay, Becky, let's pull a card for that. How can you make your documentary series? Okay, I've got the Knight of Cups. Get people interested in your project it's not something that you can do all alone. You need a little bit of support from other people, either investments or you're the opposite of the person before because you have done something that you care about, but it's just you. And no man is an island. Something like a documentary, you either need the support of, for instance, if you put it on YouTube, you need the support of YouTube so that you can upload. If you want to get it published and in cinemas, you're going to need someone who is au fait with that world and who's able to distribute it for you. And what I'm getting is that there are people who will love and adore your documentary, but you need to involve more people and you'll be a success, okay? Just don't try and do it all by yourself, basically. It's not good. You don't need to do it all by yourself. There's no need. Cassandra, will my children come back to me? Okay, big question. Wow. Okay, Cassandra, let's see. I've got the Queen of Swords, and I'm sorry to say this, but the cards are saying that you need to change your way of thinking and your behavior. That's the key thing. So that may not be something you want to hear, but the cards are saying that certain decisions you're making and the way you see the situation isn't conducive to you getting your kids back. So maybe you're thinking that you're completely blameless and everyone's after you. You look at the part you've had to play. I'm not saying that this is your fault or anything. I'm saying that you have had involvement in this situation and the Queen of Cups is saying that you're not seeing that and there's something to learn from that. And when you do learn that lesson, you'll be able to change the way you think and see things and your kids will come back to you, okay? But you need to do some inner work as well. Charlene White, apply for three amazing jobs. One is mine, yes? Thank you. Okay, is one of them yours? Let's have a look. The Five of Swords, yes. One or more is definitely yours, but the cards are saying, do you really want these jobs? Because one or more of them is a job where you're meant to harm other people to gain an income. That's the kind of job where, like for instance, you're selling insurance where you scare the crap out of someone just to sell a policy, or you're selling credit cards at 38 degrees, not degrees, I'm thinking astrology, 38% um, interest. And that's not good for any customers if they're being kind of ripped off financially. And one or more of the jobs aren't really that conducive to things being positive. So yes, you will get the job, one or more, but make sure it's a job that does no harm because we manifest what we put out there. So don't put negativity in the world and you won't get negativity back. Okay, that's really important. Okay, the new feast, J6. Hello. Will I achieve my goal score on my test on the 22nd? Yes, you'll be able to take the next step. You'll be able to move on. And reading between the lines, you need the test score to move on. So yes. Phoebe Alona. Two of wheels, keep doing what you're doing. You're juggling things really well and things aren't going to go belly up if you keep doing what you're doing. So don't doubt yourself. Keep the focus on what it is you've been doing so far and things will go well. So congrats. Aquarianess. Hello, Aquarianess. I have got the four of cups. The four of cups. We've got this young man. He's being given a gift and he doesn't recognize it. He's kind of bored. And he doesn't know all the good things he's got in his life. So you've got really good things in your life. You may even have someone who's in love with you. And that's what I'm feeling intuitively. And you may not be paying attention to that. 
So pay attention to all the love that you're receiving in your life, whether it's from family or um, an, um, a secret admirer. There are opportunities in your life that you have not made use of. Okay. Guys, thanks for the super chats. Uh, no more, please. Thanks. Uh, Mona. Let's have a look. Mona, 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 Mona. I've got the Eight of Cups again. You're moving forward and there are things in your life that you need to leave behind now, Mona. You're ready to graduate onto the next level. You're operating here and you're up here. So don't slum it. Don't do things that are beneath you, okay? Guys, I'm going to have to wrap this up soon. So thank you for the super chats. I really appreciate them, but I'm going to have to go. So I'll answer the ones you've sent me so far. And then I'm going to have to skedaddle. So I'll just answer these last couple of ones. Lunde, I'm sorry if I'm saying your name incorrectly. Lunde Watkins, where do I stand with love? Will I marry again? Let's have a look. The Two of Swords. Two of Swords means that um, you're blocked off to this. You have hope for it, but you don't really believe that. And the reality is if you take the blindfold off and if you look out into the world, you absolutely will. So you want to know whether you're going to get married again, but deep down you feel that it's super unlikely and it isn't unlikely. So let go of that doubt. You will get married again. I don't want to miss anybody. Chris, BB, did I make the right decision this month? Chris, did you make the right decision? Five of Wands, yes. It was a little bit complicated, uncomfortable. You had to kind of put up with other people saying, meh, but it was the right decision, even though it didn't feel 100%. So rest easy, you did make the right decision. So good for you. Da -da -da. I hope you're all doing well, guys. It's really nice to be with you live. I haven't done this in ages. Uh, Sally M, some guidance to help me get over my cheating ex. Oh, I'm sorry, Sally, that's awful. Guidance, we have got the 10 of wands. You're taking this on as, well, you're crushed basically by this. And that's understandable. We're all crushed when partners cheat on us. But the thing is that um, I'm being told that your partner was something in your life that you kind of leaned on as a crutch and there are other things in your life that you use as crutches and you've got so many crutches in your life which are supposedly there to help you that you're stumbling all over them and you feel just like you've fallen flat on your face so the great thing about this is that you can let go of all of these burdens that you've been carrying all of these crutches that you've put into your life thinking they're going to make life better and you're able to let those go you're able to have a clean slate and start fresh. So the past is the past. I would suggest that you get rid of that cheating ex if you haven't already. Well, the clue is in the word ex, isn't it? But really be done with that. There's no saving that. Leave that behind you and use this as an opportunity to start over because you've really learned your lesson in this sense. There's a, I'm getting a lot for you. So if you want a personal reading, just get in touch with me for Gregory Scott. Uh, at gregoryscott.com but you've you've let a lot of stuff go the vibration has been raised and you're not going to repeat the mistakes of the past so don't worry about that in the sense of oh i can never date again i've got negative energy no that's not true okay abundance tash will i be able to evict my tenants without conflict within six months yes three of cups approach them with an open heart if they're damaging your property don't go in there and say how dare you damage over Try and see the positive in yourself, in other people, and only approach them when you can speak to them without screaming or yelling at them or accusing them of anything. Try and keep it as neutral and as, yeah, as neutral as possible because the less you are the aggressor and you say, how dare you do this, and you keep things neutral and you send them an eviction notice, which also is neutral, you're not going to have problems. What I'm getting strongly is that the more you get connected emotionally, whether that's making friends with them or yelling at them or whatever, don't create emotional ties with these people because then you're going to have problems getting rid of them. Imagine them up on stage, surround them in gold and white light and let go of that resentment. It's something you can do in your mind to let go of them. But yeah, don't... No letters, no, don't you think you could understand my point of view? None of that. That's not going to work. 
Avalon, okay, final question. Will my son get his financial and emotional life straightened out? Okay. Oh, yes. I'm also, I don't know, but for some reason I'm getting the word Felix, the name Felix. And Felix is good luck, good fortune. So this, your son is a lucky, lucky man and he is going to sort himself out. These are growing pains. It's temporary. He is going to get his act together and he's going to be successful. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. It has been a pleasure being able to speak to you live today. Have a wonderful day. If you'd like a personal reading, please do get in touch with me via the website gregoryscott.com. If you like this broadcast, this stream, then give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and share the stream online so that next time other people can join us. Have an amazing day. Mwah. Lots of love to you and I'll speak to you soon.